I know I ain't seen you in a minute uh, Slide through the block in this tenant No weapon formed against me ever prosper I promise I told my last son Boy, I'm big wolf, how this under the sun Look like your daddy and think like your mom Feel what you're bringing, then move with your heart But by definition, I'm big in the head uh, Oh, and I'm good with the bread Fuck with my family, the slut is you dead No matter what colors you wear Young nigga, bossed up, tighten up, nagging, glutton up, uh, running to me, running it up. I got all my little niggas' pockets up. How you the man without raising your boys? Uh, niggas is tripping. I made it move without raising the boys. Uh, niggas is different. If it's a problem, it's multiple choice. So make a decision. Mention my crib. Five and daughter for Sachi a crib. Yeah. Big more fucking podcast, man. We coming in with some original music. I made this beat, man. It was on some bullshit, but you know, sometimes you gotta get the audio and how you can get it. You know what I'm saying? It was just two, two joints. It was yeah and uh huh, nigga, cause that's how I'm coming. <laughs> What's up, man? So look, welcome to the Big Wolf Podcast. It's your humble, gracious, knowledgeable. Sponge like host King Kali. I'm here with my very special co host, Ron, Rue the Truth. My man does everything, man. Let's get it. And also, we're here with another special guest. This is my man, King, right here. Entrepreneur, special comedian, media. social media personality on the up and coming rise, man. Let's get it, bro. <laughs> Let's get it. So, look, what's the temperature today, man? How y'all feeling? Good. What's the vibe? No, what's really the vibes, bro? The vibe is great, man. It's good as shit. You yeah. See, we out here vibing. I'm appreciate y'all had me on a show. I appreciate that. It's much love. You know what I'm saying? We're ready. So, we'll cast. so t- tell us about yourself, cause the people they know me, they know wrong. They getting to know us. Know you know what I'm saying? Tell us a little bit, bit more about your background. <clears throat> what you want the people to know? Well, me, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm a like I'm a more like a, a chill guy. <laughs> well, now I'm a chill guy. Before I was a little wild. Now I'm a chill guy. Now I'm a, I'm a chill guy. Now before I was wild, you feel me? Saying it's the street. I'm, I'm getting in trouble. I'm getting locked up. You know what I'm saying? I didn't care. It was nothing. You know what I'm saying? But I had to calm down. As you get older, you know what I'm saying? You progress. And you think more before you you react. You feel me? So that's how you gotta think about it. So why why is that important for the youth, man? How long did it take you, bro? For real. How long did it take to get through your head to be like, yo, I got to switch this shit up, bro? I'd say about four years. Four years, yeah, four years, you know what I'm saying? Because I was 25, and I was still just doing dumb stuff. Uh, I Like, when I think about now, I went to, like, so much stuff, bro, and it was like, I had to be like, you know what? Let me just calm down. So, when I was in Philly, like, when I was in Philly, I felt like when I was in Philly, I ain't know nothing else but Philly. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't know nothing but Philly. But it seemed like as soon as I got out to a different state, that's when my mind started breaking up. Like, okay, all right, it's, oh, it's not like this in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, it's not like this in freaking uh, Alabama. Oh, it's not like this in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, it's not like this in Washington, D.C. Oh, okay. So now I start thinking, like, okay, well, what can I do? You know what I'm saying? To progress myself more. So I started thinking about different stuff. You know what I'm saying? Learning about different cultures. You know what I'm saying? Let me just think about where, where I want to go in life. Let me figure out what I want to do. What's my goal, possession? And you know, most of the time, well, you guys know me. You know, all I want to do is what? All I want to do, do? All I want to do is party. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Ladies, you know, you know for the party. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Keep it lit. <laughs> have everybody having a good time. You feel? That's what I that's like to do. Right. That's, that's yeah. real shit. People saying, yeah, "Yo, bring know. bring that nigga King, bro." Yeah. So let me ask y'all this. I got a, I got a question for y'all. Do you think y'all fit into the black male stereotype? I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let Ram take that first, Garvey. Naturally, yeah, you feel the black stereotype. Yeah, yeah, true. Black. That's a fact. See, that's the answer right there. You see what I'm saying? That's black. Black. So you feel the same way? Of course. And uh, to rebuttal on that, I would like to say, um, I would say mostly, yeah, you know I'm saying because my struggle. So I've said, a black man. Oh, of course, I'm a black man. Have you been locked up? Fucking yeah, I've been locked up. What you mean? 
some encounter with the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Heavy, heavy. So that's when you think about it. It's a stereotype. You know what I'm saying? So if you didn't have any law run-ins, you know what I mean? Any law encounters, you would feel like you don't fit the black male stereotype. I would feel like that way. If I haven't had any, any law. Damn, so that's what fucked your record up. That's what I feel like. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Do you feel like your shit is tarnished in a way? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your record? Yeah. Yo, bro. Up a little bit. Damn, bro. And it's crazy because if someone meets you, they just gonna feel the vibes yeah. and be like, yo, this is a thorough bull. But it's like the law, they got a whole different record, whole different recollection of you, you know what I'm saying? That shit get crazy. I don't think I fit no male stereotypes. But I may look a certain way, I may look like I'm a rapper, and I do rap. But it's really much more to that shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like people are complex. Right. It's layers to them. If you want some simple shit and someone could be like, yo, this is what he would say to the T, boy, you playing the game backwards. No, Predictable shit. as shit, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I like niggas to not really know what the next move is. Oh, no, I understand the question. You got to, man. Ah, that shit came back full yeah. circle. <laughs> we playing space tonight, too. Oh, yeah. Why, yeah. That's why I'm oh, so now we about yeah. to dive. He th- why you think about it? Now that's we about to dive in deep. You feel me? That's to start off with. You see? <laughs> now we about to dive in deep. So when you think about the blessed space, bro, who, who, who you going? Who you going to recollect? Bro, you about to say you play space in jail, bro? That's what you about to say. Anybody play space? What nigga don't play space in jail? Nigga, I've never been to jail, exactly, bro. So I know. So you come oh, so the you captain. Play, so you <laughs> play, you play, the captain. So that's, that's, what's that's different bad, about bro. space jail? What that's they bad, do? What's the, they don't even got real cards or some shit, right? No, they got no, cards. I'm saying, this is bad. Though. This is bad <laughs> no, they got. You supposed to have like you supposed to have a unique skill because you played in jail. Wait, in jail? Yeah, no, I no, didn't no. know that. I didn't know you played. You come out here and you lose it. Wait, y'all two know each other? I'm crazy. I'm saying, so I would say, like, when you go to jail, right? I mean, when you play spades, it's more like, you know how you play cutting? You know what I'm saying? Cutting is it's the same. Spades is black man's chest, bro. Black like man's chest? I like that. Spades. Definitely, I like that. That's where you get to show off your intelligence, you know what I'm saying? It's like my wit against yours. Because you know <laughs> there's really different strategies out here. Like, niggas don't just gotta have good cards. Sometimes you can fuck a nigga mental up. Ooh. By what, though? By what? what? By what? By your body language. You might be carrying yourself like, ooh. You, you get your hand and shit, you open that shit up, you like, shit. So you what? So they, they might, if they weaken the mind, they might think, damn, he got some shit. Exactly. But if you smart, you might think, he either got some shit or he on some bullshit. bullshit. Feel you, feel you, feel you. Don't feel you. Those you don't handle those problems? Yeah, what? <laughs> Bro, what, man? Look at my cards. I'm like, I'm doing all that. <laughs> yeah, this is my... Oh, I got some shit. Which one? Hmm? Okay. Yeah, I'm about to spank that ass. Spank that ass. You know what I'm saying? Pow! So how you feel about people reneging? Reneging? I just think that's... That's like the one move that niggas don't really want to pull because it's kind of dirty. Yeah. It's like when you're playing football, you hit that nigga with that yeah, strong yeah, ass stiff arm. Line. Hold on, bro. <laughs> you running, bro. And you say, say it's you, bro. You my man. You run up on me. I hit you with a strong stiff yeah. arm. You come play. Damn, bro. You my man. You just had <laughs> stiff arm this shit. You ever play with somebody that did that before? What, Green Nick? Of course. Who? 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 Yeah. <laughs> Don't say no names, bro. Don't say no fucking names. You think I'm a rat, bro? <laughs> no, see, he bringing me into my first topic. Is y'all familiar with the 6 9 attempting to run down? No, let me let me fix my words. Real nigga shit. Okay. 6 9 trying to make a little situation out of running in the Meek Mill at a little place. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Y'all, y'all heard about I that? I definitely remember that. Yeah, definitely remember that. Um, when I when I came up on that, uh, like, like like yesterday, and I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you, I didn't even know that that was Meek Mills. I just heard a voice. I'm like, who the fuck is that nigga? And then <laughs> fucking six nine getting all crazy. I don't know who the guy. I'm like, oh, that must be his security team. In the oh, he look like a Chihuahua I'm trying to hop. You feel me? Like, oh, that nigga. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> so what you doing, bro? Imagine you just hopping out of a black range, bro. A black stretch range. Yeah. You and your niggas, you hop out. Six nine and his niggas there. He started. He started running off, bro. What, what, what's y'all moves? Y'all what's, not. We not rich. No mind, we normal bro. niggas. So you I taking? He, he got a rich nigga mindset. I ain't <laughs> 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 I 
Robbie, 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 I'm a little crazy, I ain't gonna lie to you. He could look, let me just choke him up for the first thing. And king. we talking about the old king, we talking about the new king. Which one we talking about? We talking about the old king. So old king be like, you know what? Who the f I be like, you know what? Excuse my language. I'm like, who the fuck you talking to? Matter of fact, you ain't gonna do nothing? I need somebody to smack him right now. If I smack him right now, you know, I'm already on the rest. I can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I need somebody to smack him. Go ahead Yo, smack but Meek is known for that, bro. Cause you saw what happened with Safari. My yeah. man Meek just hopped out the wheel next to you know all these goons hopped out and started doing yeah, their thing. Yeah, exactly. But that's because Meek, kind of, I, I feel like he knew. It was preemptive at that time. He knew this nigga was here. Right. But I think he was surprised by 6 9 being outside the in the parking lot. So he didn't have his mindset already ready like, yo, this is what we're going to do. Right. It was kind of startled. But this is what I thought, though. I thought that because what I was reading upon, I heard that they were saying, like, I don't know if it was Tim TMZ, they were saying, oh, he waited for him to come out. So I don't know. Six nine did. I don't know if six nine or was it Meek Mills. I don't know which Pashrez the mm -hmm. wait, uh, um, waited for him to come out. But somebody waited for somebody they to come out. Six nine waited. Oh, so six but nine waited. Cause he, cause my man started barking, then yeah. hopped in the wheel in the all black jump that could fit at least eight. So you thought about? So when you think about it, it was probably for show. He wanted cause to he see know Meek yeah, can't choke that fun. nigga. You can't yeah. reach over and choke him cause he's gonna sue you. And he's gonna get you booked. And exactly. gonna get you booked. Yeah, of course. Hell yeah, man. You know what I would do? I ain't gonna hold you, bro. That's the time where you have a water and the nigga start popping all this shit and you be like, oh shit, spilt my whole water bottle on this nigga face. That's what I would've did. Oh, like, oh my bad. Man, it wasn't even no disrespect. Look, he though. like, yeah, you pussy, you know You know what I mean? I would be like, oh shit, what's up? Dick, oh, dick, <laughs> man, my bad, man. He was mad, Damn, bro. Yeah, I, I can't really. I can't really say Meek did the wrong thing. But one thing I would, one he thing I, right one thing I could say, one thing I would like to say on that is, um, Meek Mills carried himself very accordingly. You feel what I'm saying? Because he could have reacted like the old Meek Mills we all know, and went in, or had somebody be like, man, take care of that for me. You know what I'm saying? I, I just think he that. was surprised. <laughs> he was probably surprised. He was cool. He he, he kept his composure. Imagine cool. that, bro. Just imagine. I don't think I think six nine probably like five six or something. Yeah, sure. He just running shorty running up on you with the rainbow and he just like nah, and he got some gray sweats on yeah. and she has some Balenci's. It's not <laughs> and he's like your room. <laughs> but you see, but you but you when you when you look at the the video, you seen his guards grabbing him. Grab Yo, he had the rock. Him back. He had the rock and Stone Cold as security. <laughs> <laughs> I just think I saw Brock Lesnar and Wesley Snipes in that. <laughs> Yo. So let me ask y'all a question. I need to know y'all personality a bit. You know what I'm saying? What are y'all views on natural hair? Now we gonna start with Rome because people are speculating about you, bro. Yeah, that's they wanna know what's your on. views. Come on, Rome, what's that? For starters, what you about to say, Jay? Nah, no, pledge of allegiance, bro. What you about to say? What you about to say? Oh, natural only. Oh, natural only. Why is that? What what oils you use? Huh? What oils you use? What's one of the condos? We talking about my hair? Yeah. Oh, one of the condo? What? What's going on? You just do it all. Said what oils? I don't know what kind of oils he talking about. <laughs> Yo, what y'all know about oh, oils, bro? <laughs> <laughs> he tried to steal your smells. He said, all room bitches is mine. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. He said, that nigga smell like women. No, you talking about women. Yeah, all natural. Alright, man, excuse me, yeah. all natural too. It's not all about the women, it's about. It's so you, you like her wear the wigs, bro, if she wanna just throw no, that shit on No, me. no. Damn. So you don't never lose no. No, uh, no pink lotion. Hold up. What you mean? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Ointment it up, bro. Come Yo, on. he really trying to find out the the, the black man's secrets. He trying to let me. I, 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 I might want to have my shit going like that. You know what I'm saying? He talking about products. I bro, he seeing the drip, bro. He like, yo, what oh. you doing to grow oh, your shit, do bro? Nothing. I do cold showers. I heard that with her. It helped me shoot. I dig it. So. Me, I'm a, I'm a two week nigga, ass nigga. You feel what I'm saying? I wash my shit every two weeks, boom. Put the, the lotion <laughs> that shit. You know what I'm saying? Let the shit fly out. Throw my shit, the hair go. Mohawk, bang, bang, whatever. Bro, stop playing, bro, and just get locks, bro. I'm telling yeah. you, look, this for all the, all the, 
I'm speaking to all my niggas out here, you know what I'm saying? That's niggas from gotcha. here, you know what I'm saying? If your shit could grow, let your antennas grow, bro, so you could be connected and shit. Because if you That's think about it, back in that school, they were saying cut that because, you know, it probably was a reason. That's fair. True. You know what you I'm saying? So grow your shit out, bro. I heard it. I heard it. So what I was saying, you never got to cut it, bro. You don't need <laughs> no, no shape saying, up, bro. You have before? Yeah, yeah, uh, to like a, to like a, like a, like a fucking afro. You know what I'm saying? That's well, well, like, like an afro. Yeah, that shit was like that. <laughs> like, yeah, my shit was like woofing. Yo, like, pull up a picture, man. No, I ain't gonna do that. Right that's out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so my shit was big. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, you know what? In my, in, in my stats, I was like, you know what? I don't want to be like anybody else. You know what I'm saying? I want to be king. So I'm like, you know what? Let me trim my shit up. I always like to trim my shit up. And I, and then when I seen Usher. Honestly, because you know I was into the fucking uh, Jerry Curl was heavy. I already know. Jerry Witness, Curl, bro. you mean the Witness. S Curl? The S Curl was heavy. S Curl, I was into the S Curl was heavy. Bro, you know why saying? you got exposed niggas out here, man? Look, I'm gonna keep it. Bro. I was on the I'm list. Saying? They had my picture. <laughs> that shit was all black. They didn't know who face it was. Now they know it's me, bro. I had S Curl in high school, bro. It's all good. You with me, bro? You bro look, saying? the first time you use S Curl, that should be good. You be looking like you sh like you in the Temptations and shit yes. when you got the check. But then the second Facts. time you use it, you look like you go Gogeta and shit. Yeah. <laughs> shit started turning in the moon. My curly that. top, bro, that shit turned into attack mode. Every curl was like this, like it would eat you. <laughs> yo, yo, did not say like when if somebody leave that shit in your hair for too long, this shit start to stick. You know what I'm saying? Like it's gorilla glue. You think you got some gorilla glue? Oh my shit can't. You know what I'm yo, saying? Yo, it was the first gorilla glue. Yo, bro, gorilla glue the first. The first gorilla glue. I'm like, oh my shit is in there. And that's the thing. When I poured it out, my whole head came out. I was like, oh, I'm missing the patch. Oh man. <laughs> I was fucked up. I ain't go to school with none of that shit. Everybody ain't seen me cut the weeds. I'm like, you wanna why? Cause my shit had a ball spot. Mm. Ball spot had so look, we about to take a second, right? We about to speak on some topics that's important to us in the Big Wolf Podcast. First one we wanna start with, you know what I'm saying, is Ideal Beauty. This is a black owned business. They take care of eyebrows, teeth, mm. Massages, oh, waxes, nigga, you think of it. Nails, jewelry, I'm yeah, telling you, jewelry, teeth, jewelry. jewelry. Oh, wow. Seriously, check out that. Ideal Beauty, like, it's always tagged to my stuff. It's attached to me, like, like an extra leg. <laughs> it like, shit is lit. Like so, a host. Like so, look, let me ask y'all this, man. Yeah. In this climate today, what what is really the rules for the N word? Now, I ain't gonna say the N word, I'm gonna say nigga. What's the rules for niggas? Because I see a lot of Spanish balls, okay. a lot of Asian balls outside of just Cambodian. You know Cambodians, they just kind of cool. They seem like yeah. they live around us, so they niggas too. Mm -hmm. But Spanish people, other Asian people, mixed people, what's the vibes? What's the vibes I mean, in 2021? At this point now, it's all out of control. It's out of control it's out already? Of control at this point. Talk about everybody it. Everybody in their mama said it. <laughs> damn. Damn. Really, bro? What? Would you they shut somebody? Say no, they shouldn't say it. I mean, I, yeah. I, yeah. Damn. You say it around me, yeah. If you just going off on it, and then you had an the ER. He going ER, off on it. Why are you going off? The ER is different than the A. Oh, nigger. The ER, too. That's different. Like, you can't have a Starbucks. He's like, nigger. Yeah, yeah, if you man. say the nigger. Yeah, All right, so is you the same, bro? Like, if a nigga say... I'm getting sick and tired of you niggas. Oh, so yeah. he look you in your eyes. Look, right. And that, 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 come on, man. You know that's me, bro. <clears throat> so I would talk about it. If bro. a man, if a dude look me in my eyes and he say, oh, nigga. Yeah, that's different. Now I'm looking at him like, oh, so you said the niggas. You, oh, uh, let's go into perfection now. You know what I'm saying? You, you put the ER to it. That's a nigger. Okay. So you start breaking and the shit you look, down. Yeah, breaking the shit down. Now, now and, and you give me content. Oh, that's a threat. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Like well, I don't play that. that. No, no, no. Nah, nah, nah. And you look at me <laughs> in the contact. That's contact. Why? That let me know you looking at me and you saying, "Yeah, you the nigga." I'm not he's, talking he's about. He said. He said. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, whoa. Oh, you talking about me? Okay, so now I got it. Now I got a rebuttal. Now. And what? I, how? What, how am I going to rebuttal? It's going to get physical. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying. I thought you was about to say it's going to get circus. <laughs> yeah, you know see. Now I'm gonna get to fit because because I, I feel like. Damn, like now you're trying to press my issue. Like you know I'm a nigga. If especially, <laughs> especially if you're, especially if you're a yeah. white guy, you feel what I'm saying you're seeing it. Like now you're just trying to be privileged. You know what I'm saying? I don't respect that. You know what I'm saying? I would have said if you said, okay, all right, nigga, with the A. <laughs> I 
I get it. That shit. <laughs> first, right, first, first, first time, I'm going to let it pass. That's, maybe that's your mistake. You know what I'm saying? When you see the ER, the nigger, it's offensive to me. As a black man. Let me teach y'all something, man. How I'm handling this shit, if I'm in I'm in some level with my girl and my baby and shit, boy, like, oh, I'm getting tired of these niggers. <laughs> I'm going to say, hey, hurry up and get your shit. All right? Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hurry up and get your shit. We're going to get our shit. And if it so happened that his shit is directed towards me, depending on the vibes, it could be, look, get your nut ass, goofy old dickhead ass out of here. But exactly. Unless he get too close to the family, then you might have to choke that exactly. up a little bit. You know what I mean? A little grip him. Grip him up. Them them them, them, let me put them Grip him up, then spill your water on it. Oh, shit. <laughs> dickhead, my bad. <laughs> Same time, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I mean, that's always a tough situation, really. Definitely, always a time. I don't think you gotta wear the nigga word on your back like you the yeah. hero though. Yeah. I see niggas doing it all day. I would be fighting at least twice a week, bro, if I was like holding the nigga word down. Like, yeah, yeah. Right. yo, bro, you can't say that shit, bro. Yeah. Right. Fuck, why don't you? <laughs> exactly, nigga, going crazy. Like, damn, what the fuck? Twice a week. Like, Three damn. times a week, bro. So look, I don't know if y'all really into the scientific shit, right? Scientific, magnificent, okay. specific shit. Oh, we're about, we're about, we're, we're, we about to get into. We about to get some. Uh, oh man. We about to get into. Let me ask you this, right? Let me ask both of y'all. Your, your child is in school, right? You get a letter home okay. from the step from the faculty. Mm -hmm. They say we just want to let you know that this school, you know, has gender neutral babies. Mm -hmm. The kids is gender neutral, yeah. so. That's why homeschooling so is a process, yeah. man. Homeschooling, Home, exactly. That's where you check it yeah. out? Yeah. Wow, bro. That's why I feel like schools is What's wrong with that, anyway? bro? They just what? gender neutral, bro. What's the, what's the uh, big thing? I mean, I feel like homeschool is the way to go anyway. Uh, yeah. real, even before the gender yeah. neutral shit. Yeah. So, when you, so when you look at Rome, and he say that, right? Rome yeah. was more of a... Uh, he wanted to teach his kids. From his, he wanted to teach his kids, you know what I'm saying, what he... he he brings into the world. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, that's respect. Damn straight. You know what I'm saying? I get that. You know what I'm saying? You want to teach them what you didn't bring up with. You know what I'm saying? That maybe from culture or tradition. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's cool. As far as me, I want my kids to learn um, everything that's possible in the world. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And also, as they learn everything that's possible, so when they come home, I can let them know what they're wrong. What, what the teachers are teaching them that's wrong that I know, that I was, that I was taught. You feel what I'm saying? And what wasn't right to me in school. You feel me? I don't really know how I'm explaining gender neutral babies to my to my kids, man. I would be like, you know the baby dolls? It's like that. It's like that? <laughs> it's like that. I don't know. But it's like seriously, it's like if my daughter on the wrestling team and there's a gender neutral girl and she whooped my daughter ass, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna be feeling the type of way about that shit. Of course, yeah, I'm saying that's your daughter. I'm, I'm like, like, yo, that little stupid baby. little nigga <laughs> <laughs> damn. What my I'm calling the cops. <laughs> like you know you know what you do? You teach them some you teach excuse me, you teach them some shit that they don't know. But what's really the Lock need? What's up. really the need for that though? It ain't no need. It's no need. I would say yeah. that there's no need. But you, I would say that, that you wanna try to keep them I would say you wanna, you know, make them to more protect themselves for you know, maybe it's something that my dad knows that he can give me some pointers in because he might know a secret or a technique mm. that nobody else don't know. And you only learn that from the what? Mm -hmm. Street. Period. Nah, let's take it from the street, right? Both of y'all, I want y'all to give me some game. Give me one one bit of mm. knowledge you got from an elder. Preferably oh. in your family. Oh, man. Damn. Yeah, give me some game. Damn, you, so you, good damn, you, you, damn, you, oh, man. So, uh, a knowledge gem. is power. Knowledge. I said, what did I just say? <laughs> he said, knowledge is power. No, knowledge you said you said a Chevy Impala. That's what no, you said. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you that, bro? Yeah. Oh yeah, my uncle told me that. Damn. How how young was you? I was young, young. Damn. Seven years old. Let me watch Black Panther. Damn. Mm -hmm. He was watching I'm Superman. He said, on. "Turn that off, yo." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Black Panther. He put That's me on good. knowledge, young though. Yeah. That's so as far as me, I was like, man. I grew up hard. I ain't gonna lie. I grew up hard. You know what I'm saying? So. Like everything was about street with me, me and my family, you know what I'm saying? Most of my family is ran by, by females. So of course you learn about what females do. But you always you always learn your you know the manly shit out there in the street. Mm -hmm. So one thing I I knew I was taught was <clears throat> So as far as you like are you get into it with somebody, first thing you know on the street, bro, and you go anywhere else, 
If you get in a fight, it's no rules. It's no rules. No rules. No rules at all. Why they be like, why well, you use a brick, bro? <laughs> exactly. I like, thought you had heart. <laughs> exactly. Like, nah, <laughs> we in the street, bro. Oh, the brick? Yeah. Because I ain't want to lose. Right, exactly. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's like, well, I, I don't know you. You ain't my brother. So I ain't got, so when you look at your brother, if you get in a fight with your brother, right? When you look at your brother, you, Maybe you might smack your brother, you might give him a little shug, bro. you might wrestle him, you might give him a flounder a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so that you ain't trying to kill him, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You ain't trying to hurt him in a crazy. When you get in the street, there's no rules, because you like, I don't know this guy, he ain't my brother. Mm -hmm. So if I hit him with a brick, that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? If I hit him with an elbow, Makes sense, that's what bro. it is. If I tuck him, like how they say in Pittsburgh, when I was in Pittsburgh one Whoa, time. bro, don't be bringing that Pittsburgh knowledge down here. Bro. Oh, <laughs> I'm just saying. Show us the move, bro. Show us the move. Yeah, you know I'm saying a lot. Of, one thing I say about Pittsburgh, we me being in Pittsburgh, because I went there for trade school. So a lot oh, of right. Pittsburgh's guys, when they fight you, they don't never stand up to the you know the hands of fishermen like Philly niggas do. You know what I'm saying? They they act like they be like what what they put their hands up. First thing I do, they scoop. They scoop. They, when they, oh, when they grab niggas, you, niggas, when they scoop scoopers. you, bro, when they scoop you, they they think it's a drop. You they the dumping you, nigga. Trash dump, truck. Dumping you head. <laughs> they dump you. It's over. That's it. Trash truck. Don't nigga. never let nobody dump you. Ever. Bro, you know what you gotta do, bro. You you probably told me this when I was like eleven, bro. No cap. This nigga said they trying to scoop you, bro. Open your legs. Put your weight down. Yeah. Push him to the ground, bro. Hell yeah. You fuck around with hit a nigga, catch him in a, a F5 or something on this bitch. <laughs> a fucking you. pedigree. Works yeah, every, man. Every every Them Pittsburgh niggas, they need to switch the drip up if that's how they keep mm -hmm. still carrying You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they still do it to this day. That's crazy. Still yeah. So what's up, man? Give us some plugs, bro. I mean, Where can man. niggas find you at online? Yeah, so I mean, what, 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 what do you got <laughs> for the geez. people looking forward? You okay, I mean? so if people want to find me, you know what I'm saying? I came this... Regular Al Kim Carlisle, Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Facebook, or regular Al Kim Carlisle. I'm neutral, you feel what I'm saying? Regular. <laughs> Gender neutral. I ain't trying to pick no, you know, no stamp on my journal, no SP sign, no none, no, no dollar sign, no. It's Al Kim Carlisle, boom, you'll find me. Clever. That's what he was born, man. Let's get it, bro. Bro, nigga, shit. Pretty you know what I mean? Of course. So you got for us, bro? What you serving the people, man? I know uh, we don't usually do plugs, but fuck it, we plug yeah, shit, bro. Catch you off guard, man. Yeah, man. Hey, yeah. <laughs> G, do your thing. Uh, RudyTruth.com. Get straight like that. Yeah. RudyTruth.com. Catch me. Catch me there. Buy something on me. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. You know and he saying? be out there in person. You heard me? Yeah. Yeah. No, man. I just, no, but man. Look, just I'm to let y'all know, not only do we want y'all to shop Rudy Truth, we want you to check out my man, Keem, out Keem Carlisle. Check out Ideal Beauty again, and just know I'm looking for a good way to integrate my rapping talents and my skills and my musical, you know what I mean, mindset into this podcast so we can get this shit turned to the max. So if you made it as far as get it, we out of here.